Welcome. I'd like to introduce you to how you can change your major into BCUE, the Borns College of Engineering. I'm going to be using our website to give you all the information. First off, you want to know if you're a student majoring in CHAS or CNAS, you must contact your current academic advisor. If you're undeclared, that means you're being advised by a transition advisor in one year college. And if you have a declared major, that means you need to consult with your advisor that you've been assigned to talk to them about the fact that you want to change your major. We've provided on our website the first two links to those advising information that you can access. The second section is actually the act of changing your major. Once you've made the decision, you want to follow the steps. First step is to read the entire page on our website, which is what I'm showing you right now. Each major in our college has one page that outlines the criteria for the major you want to change to. You need to make sure you review it and understand which category you're in and that you've met that criteria. Once you've met that criteria, you can go into our form, which is linked here, and you can fill it out to indicate that you want to change your major. There's a special time in which change major requests are processed, and that is the, during the first five weeks of every term. You have up until Wednesday of week three, of fall, winter, spring to submit your application. And we have up until Friday of week five to process it. If you submit your application in weeks four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, or during the break, you should not expect to get a response until that week one to week five time period. If you propose to change your major over the summer, we, we look at the requests after grades are posted for spring and after second session of summer session has been processed grade-wise, we will look at those again for summer. Please make sure you do not fill out the change of major petition until you have fulfilled the criteria. The next section of our site shows you the major change criteria for every major in our college, which is this whole entire section here. You have to fulfill everything in blue that I've just highlighted, as well as the criteria for a specific major you're changing to. I'm gonna quickly go through the major change criteria for our college. Good academic standing means you have a cumulative GPA of a 2.000, not a 1.999, and that you have a status of good standing for this campus. When you look at your degree audit, you can see you have a math science GPA on your degree audit, and that needs to be a 2.0 and above. And you can have no less than a C minus in any math science or engineering coursework, even lower division courses. So if you had a C, less than a C minus in math 9C, you would need to discuss that with your academic advisor or with the change of major advisor by sending us an email. Each major has a maximum allowable units, and you need to be able to change your major under those max amount of allowable units, which is outlined on our suggested course plan. You be, need to be able to fulfill the criteria by the time you reach 120 units. If you're a transfer student, you need to be able to be admissible at the point of entry or within the first term that you're coming to UCR. So if you missed your major of choice by one class and you're able to take that class during your first term at UCR, plus meet the third column of your interested major information, then you'd be able to do so. It's very difficult for a transfer student, incoming transfer student to change their major, so feel free to email if you need clarification. Once you've reached the 120 units, you are no longer eligible to change your major to BCOE. You also need to be able to complete the major within five years of entry as a freshman or within three years after entry as a transfer student. When we're looking at your units, we do not count AP and IB units. So please know if you come in with lots of AP units, you're not going to be docked those. We're looking at the units that you've earned at UCR or the units you've earned at summertime at a community college in between your first and second year or those classes that you took to fulfill requirements for the major. We do have a new major called data science and that is now included in the major change criteria. So if you're looking for that, you can do so. Data science is a major that can be declared through either BCOE or CNAS and you have to make a decision about which college you'd like to have your degree from. 
You'll see now the major change criteria section and we list all of our majors. I'm gonna use one of the most popular ones as an example, computer science. This dropdown will open up the first set of criteria, which is for students who have 45 or fewer units. Mostly this is for incoming freshmen. If you're a sophomore or didn't take that many units your freshman year, you might fall under the completed 46 to 89 unit section. And you'll see that you need to take additional classes. So you need to take the ones in the first column and then the additional ones that show up in the second column. And if you find yourself already a true sophomore, almost potentially being a junior, you would need to fulfill all of these. The biggest highlights I wanna make is that each major has a specific GPA. This GPA is calculated based on the classes that are in this column. So you would look at your transcript and pull out the grades you've received for each of these bulleted courses and compile a GPA and it, that would need to be above a 3.0 or above. So each major has one. The next popular major is mechanical. You're gonna see here that if you're in the third column, you're gonna to need to take ME2, 10, 18A, 18B, the calculus series and the first two courses of physics. Just because you need to take these classes to meet the change in major criteria does not mean that you have priority to enter into these classes. A declared major has priority over these classes and they get to register first. So sometimes you might be delayed if these classes are full and you would have to wait to take it another time. So my suggestion is to make a course plan for yourself and have backup plans in case you can't get entry into a class that you wanted to in the quarter that you wanted it. Sometimes summer is the best way to meet the criteria. We also have a very extensive frequently asked question section and I'd like to bring that to your attention. You can go ahead and uh, open up the accordion and it will tell you the information and the answer to the question that's outlined on the FAQ. The last thing I'd like to do is if you have any questions after having talked to your declared majors advisor or gone through our website, you can go to our main page for people under emailing an academic advisor, click on this. And then when you scroll down, you'll see that if you have a question about change of major, you can send an email to BCOE advising. And in the subject line, you're gonna to wanna to write change of major and then your full name. The website, I mean, the email address is here and that's what you'd want to use to contact us to talk about change of major. It is not appropriate for you to send a major change information request to the specific advisor. So if you're thinking of changing your major into computer science, do not send a message to the ENCS email address. You're gonna to wanna to still continue using change of major. And finally, all of this still applies for anyone that's in our college. If you're changing from let's say computer engineering to computer science, you're considered a student who is changing their major and you would still follow the same protocols as outlined in this video. Thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you around.